What's up, Transform? This is Ben here, and welcome to episode 79 of Charge News, your one stop MP news shop. Before we start, please hit the like and share buttons, it really does help the channel. New releases the Magic Square MSO2 Light of Peace is out, and here's what's inside the packaging we got an Ion Blaster and Energon X. The Fans Toys 2022 FT29 Quietus reissue is out. The Fans Hobby MB16 Lightning Eagle is also out, and here's the box from the back. The TFCon exclusive fans hobby Chosen Prime God Delta is out. And here is what you got. And here is the toy on display at TFCon. New pre orders. The RP Acoustic Wave KO is slated for an October 2022 release. Fans Toys is reissuing the FT 16M Sovereign at the end of December 2022. And to push back the KO, Robots Paradise is reissuing the RP01 Acoustic Wave in August 2023. Pre release updates. The Fans Toys. FT49 Phantasm box artwork is released by IO Labs and here is Phantasm with MP10 an up close early release shot of Phantasm by Bumblesby a quick comp with their Tesla Phantasm in the alt mode and a quick look from the top out at TFCon, Ocular Max showed their PS25 Navigant and here is the slideshow for the upcoming toy. You can see Navigant in all three molds with an all-in-one built-in combiner feature and with Medicus. Market Toys is together with Iron of Fire put out some very nice pictures of the upcoming remaster exclusive series dubbed MTRM EX 12 and 13 Skycrow and Lightning. And so you can see that I'm on a fire put out a lots of very cool pictures that features Skycrow and Lightning with their respective flight stands, null rays, face plates, and blast effects. So do enjoy the following pictures. And Fans Hobby showed their upcoming MB19 Double Agent and MB23 out at TFCon. New reveals! Lots of new reveals coming up at TFCon. First, we have the Ocular Max Remix series dubbed RMX11X. 
And this is an exclusive version of Tempo in collaboration with Ages 3 and Up, Madhouse and Toy Dojo. So this is a very nice painted version of Tempo and do enjoy. And Tempo will also come with a nice plastic like box and the casing has inserts like an old school style cassette. That's all very nice indeed. KO company that KO the Thomas FD44 is also coming out with the KO of Acoustic Wave and here are some product shots of it. From the pictures, people have speculated that the blue is on the, on the lighter side but it could just well be the very well lit background. Over at TFCon Chicago, Fans Toys revealed a render of the final version of the Aetherion. And here we have Aetherion in two modes, one with a toy inspired and the other as a tune inspired gimmick. So there's gonna be a bit of compromise in reality. So here's a close up shot and the main body or gestalt parts of Aetherion will break up to form flight stands for the aerial bots. So look at how how they all line up perhaps they will interlock into place or maybe they will just lay flat side by side who knows until we get some prototypes in place again these are renders but it looks promising that fans toys has a concept in mind that they are following through working with a new designer fans toys is releasing mug their version of ultra magnus under the production banner called fantastic model and this will be dubbed fmo2 what the heck will be fm one who knows but this is a real beefy version of ultra magnus i don't really see a lot of articulation even for a render so what are we going to make out of this is this definitive version of ultra magnus anyhow mark will have a little gimmick that will showcase an inner bot. So this toy is using the power up concept to build Ultra Magnus or Mug and will feature an inner bot that should possibly be FM01, the version of Optimus Prime. X Transpods revealed their new Constructicon and this is Big Load, their version of Long Haul. And here is Big Load in the alt mode. It will be a really big, big payload truck. And here's a side-by-side -side shot with Ground Bite. And here is the combined mode for the two Constructicons. And over at TFCon, they finally revealed hand-painted prototypes of these two toys. And wow, it looks very promising, especially looking at Ground Bite. Wow, wow, wow. Very nice indeed. And also over at TFCon, we have colored prototype of Abaddon. And from the side, Abaddon looks extremely slimline. And the alt mode cannon looks pretty good as well. And here's a close up shot. And thank you to TM Reviews, 3PU, and Steve for all these pictures. And also at TFCon, we have the painted toy of Lepo, and here is him from one angle and from the back as well. And here we have James and Bond, their version of Punch Counter Punch. And finally, at TFCon, we can see the X Transbots Battle Chargers Fast and Fury.
So that is it for G1 Masterpiece news this time around. What are you excited for? Are you excited to finally get the final two members of Superion? How many of you are into the Commander stack or are into Marg? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and share buttons and also smash the sub and bell icons for more future vid. Again, this is Ben signing off and I'll see you on the flip side.